Okay, so we're talking about extension. Let me use you here. So what we want to do here is maximize our reach. Okay? So there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. Now we're coming here from a passing step, right? So I'm here. I have to pass in front of my body like that. Okay? Number one, blade's got to be in front of me, right? So I don't step until my blade is about there. Okay? So it comes through, and then I'm here. Now, as you see, I'm in plenty of room to actually get a full cut on him if he doesn't move. We're not necessarily going to depend on him not moving or whatever, right? So, <clears throat> this back leg is tied to this front arm, right? Now, as I go, when I go down low, the lower I go, the further forward I can step, right? So, if I'm here and I step like this, that's a lot of space. Now, granted, the longer you go, the longer it takes you, right? So you have to, you know, keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> so here, so part of the extension is in stance, right? So as I'm nice and long and low here, that makes me very mobile, okay? So that when he comes in with a cut, not only can I get on top of it, right, but now I'm in here. Now, if I continue, right, it's very, very hard for him to go because now I'm that close. Okay, I couldn't have gotten that close with one step if I was up here, right? That will lead us to the here, where we just kind of go back and forth. I don't necessarily want that, right? So if I'm here, when I come up, there. Now, of course, it's going to be in response to something, so he has to give me something, right? Okay. But notice, even though it may not have been like guarding my head, when I come through here like this, I'm intercepting it to the point where his hands are coming down, they're going to stop, right? Now, of course, we, we always wear helmets because we don't depend on that stopping, but generally speaking, if you come in with this type of attack, even if, boom, you're here, your momentum is going up, so it moves that thing around, okay? Obviously, always wear gear when you're doing it, but for, for, for that. So, <clears throat> things to avoid are that, going and then stepping, right? Whoosh. Okay. We're coming through, right? Or what have you? Okay. So that's the important part. Now, every time you strike, you want to be doing that, and that's one of the biggest prep falls that we have is that we pull the strike, right, and we end up in here. Now, sometimes we're doing that on purpose feel out the other person, right? But a lot of times people are doing it and they don't even know they're doing it, right? And that's where it becomes difficult, right? So we always want, even with an overhead strike here, if I come down, okay, and actually just keep it there so I won't actually swing it here, but so when I come down, you see, I'm making contact with him, okay? If I go like this, I'm not making contact that he doesn't have to do anything, okay? So when I come through with that cut, it's out, okay? Notice that my blade contacts his head almost at the same time as my front foot. We're going slow, so I don't actually hit him, but if you, if you watch, when I'm here, okay, I'm not this, okay? which is the big thing. Most of the time you see step, hit, step, hit, right? Because we feel kind of, it's like in barehanded, where we want to step past something and throw, throw a punch or something like that. That's great for barehanded. We don't need to do that, especially with lightsabers, okay? So what it is, is out like that. Now, even when he's parrying, 
right? If he comes in and he goes to attack my head, uh -huh, so, no. and I think you need a little closer. So extend, extend. See? Here, go, extend. See, now you have to extend, okay? Like that. Uh -huh. You see? This is where you've got to hit. This is easily dodged, mm -hmm. okay? And this is what I'm talking about. Even if you, you think you're extending, you're not. When I come out like this, even if, I, if you get the parry, I want to be you to be on the strong of my blade okay. so that I have, the, I have the advantage and then I can just push my way in, right. okay? If I'm out here, or worse, down there, that's, that's where hit. Okay, so try it again. Okay, there we go, good. So now, when you're parrying, go, go ahead and do it again. Okay, you do the same thing, you see? And I got hit, but same thing right here. Okay, so I'm extending out, right? Strong against strong. Okay, so we don't necessarily have an advantage there, and we can start backing up and moving into more stuff. Right? But that opening attack, when you come in, go ahead, okay, do it again slow so you make sure you're, you're in, there, yeah, good, okay? This is where, this is the sweet spot, okay? On most swords, that's going to correspond with about, about, about the uh, point of percussion, which is the place that you want to hit on the blade to get the most cutting power. So, okay, so name of the game is extension, right? You don't overextend, right? I don't want to be like this, where then I'm utterly committed that way, or I'm, you know, or I'm like this, where I'm kind of going back, up top, forward, on the bottom. I don't want any of that, okay? It's actually okay to bend more from the hip. Right? So I can bend a little bit more this way as long as this leg stays pretty, pretty solid, right? And if you have good ankle flexibility, you can even come out and, you know, go all the way into one of those stances. Like that. Okay.